What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today guys I'm bringing you a quick tutorial for boot for save data on how to mod your save for Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X2, the HD Remastered. Now I know a couple of you guys are having problems applying the cheats using brute force and you're wondering what's going on. So I'm here to clarify how I got it to work and what you need to do to get it to work. So before I actually jump into the tutorial, Please keep in mind to make backup copies of your save because if something goes wrong and you try this on your original save, you're going to have to do the whole game all over again. So if I was you to save you uh, a lot of time, just make backup copies of your save. Second thing is when you attempt this, make sure that you actually paste a backup copy of your backup on your desktop. Prime example. I'm going to be using Final Fantasy X. So this is right here in this folder, my backup. But what I'm going to do is take my actual backup and actually paste another copy on my desktop. So in case something happens to this save, I still have my original save intact. Um, just a heads up because, again, if you screw around with your backup and you mess that up modding your save, you're going to have to do everything all over again. So please keep that in mind. So let's actually jump into the jump into the tutorial. So first thing, open up boot for save data. Let's give it a second to load. Alright, so just hit X as we know update doesn't work. Now, as you guys can see, please keep in mind the which save you're doing this on, right? Again, I'm using Final Fantasy X. So I'm gonna decrypt this right now, right? Hit yes. I'm gonna apply my cheats. Now again. When you apply the cheats, keep in mind, if you only play, the, like me, 15 minutes of the game and you don't have everybody in your party, don't try to apply all stats to everybody. Wait until you play it about two hours in the game, maybe three. You get everybody unlocked in your party. Then you can apply max stats. I only applied the stuff that I thought was reasonable, like max money, max key items, stuff like that. When it comes to messing around with the characters, I made sure that if I apply max stats to somebody, I had that person in my party. So, if you try to do this and you don't have everybody in your party, you may experience a corrupt data. So, just a heads up if you try to do it. So, I'm going to go here and apply max money or music, key items, and ultimate weapon. And I'm going to hit apply. And that's it. Now, do not encrypt the save yet. Just leave it like this, decrypt it. And you're going to have to open up the checksum fixer, which is right here. Now, it, right here is your plugins. Normally, you will copy this inside of the program. But for you guys, I already did it. So when I give you the program, you don't have to copy this. Just leave this alone. And that's it. Open up the checksum fixer right here, right? So when you open this up, please pay careful attention to what you're doing here. Once it's open, sorry guys, let me close this out and move this over for you so you guys can see. Once this is open, this hit the drop down the arrow. Now the first plugin where it says XHD, that is for Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X2 HD. Please be careful which one you select because if you select the wrong one, it's not going to work and it's going to corrupt the save. So right now, I'm going to select XHD, right? Then I'm going to hit up here the F and hit open, which is the O right here, right? Now, I'm going to go to my desktop. Don't worry about this. This, this is telling you we can't find the save. That's... Don't worry about that. Just hit X. Go to your computer. Mine is on my desktop. Right? My save is right here on my desktop. I'm going to go to saves. Hit open. Alright? Once that's done, I'm going to hit the blue button right here that looks like a play button. Just hit it. Now, once you do this, you're going to get all these numbers and zeros. All you need to do after the show and the semicolon is remember 53 EE. Now, for you guys, 
it's gonna be different for each person who does it. So maybe somebody get a different code and another person get a different code. All you need to remember is the four digits, which is 53 EE. Now you're gonna go back and brute force save data right here, right? And you're gonna go to the save right here. Right click on it and you're gonna go up to where it says open select file in patch creator. That's all you need to do. Once this opens, again, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, right? Just keep scrolling. Now, right here, let me highlight it for you. This, and this, and this, and this. You need to put in that code from the checksum fixer, right? So, let's go back, uh, right here. 53 EE, -E. I need to put that in right here. So I would put 53, right? Change this, actually, sorry. Put it back on my cap lock, EE. -E. So that's where it goes, 53 EE, -E. right? 53 EE, -E. 53. E -E, right then from there all you need to do is come here and hit save and you can close this out hit X this you can close out hit X come back to brute force save data hit encrypt hit yes hit verify and that's it once you do that you take the save, you copy it like normal on your USB flash drive, put it back on your PlayStation 3, and that's it. And the cheat so it should work. So that's pretty much it to applying the cheats to your Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy X2. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, saying, hey, he did it for Final Fantasy X. What about Final Fantasy X2? It is the same thing. Again, you will, if I was doing Final Fantasy X2, I would decrypt the save, which I'm gonna I'm not gonna do because I don't have a copy of it on my desktop. So again, you don't never mess with your um, originals. So I'm gonna copy this again. Copy, paste uh, a backup of a backup on my desk. Let me refresh this for you guys real quick. Just bear with me. Again, Final Fantasy X two. I'm gonna decrypt it, decrypt all files, hit yes. I'll bring this up so you guys can see this. Apply the cheats, right? Be careful which ones you apply, you know, because there's a lot of cheats. Scroll all the way down, all right? Final Fantasy X2, max skills, all items, all experience, all dresses, this you could this you can put pretty much everything. Do, last mission is for the other game inside uh, Final Fantasy X2 and X2 um, HD Remastered. So this stays blank. For both games, right? X and X2. Do not check any of the stuff. Just leave it alone. You know, if you check this stuff, you 100 percent you're gonna get corrupt data. So just leave it alone. Do what I did before, apply cheats right then from here leave your save decrypted close this down go back inside the checksum fixer open it up right make sure you select Final Fantasy X2 HD right hit F go to open don't worry about this just hit X Go to your desktop where the save is located. Again, I'm using Final Fantasy X2. Go to save. Go to open. Then you're gonna hit the play button or the blue button. Again, it generates a code which is 15C8. Right? Then go back to brute force. Right click. Open select the file in patch creator. 
a second. Do the same thing in that again. Sorry. Scroll to the very bottom, and you're gonna put in that code just like I put in here. So the code was let me go one five C A. Pass creator. So again, delete that. One five C A. Same thing here again. One. 5CA. That's it. Come back here. Do it again. 15CA. Again. Oops. Delete that. 15CA. Again. Hit save here. That's done. Close this out. Close this out. Encrypt your save. Verify PFD, that's it. And you can just copy the save back onto your USB, load it in your system, and that's it. So pretty much it, pretty much guys, sorry, it's hot today for me. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. This is it on how to mod to save. I did see a couple of tutorials online and they were helpful, but they didn't have any audio. So mods have audio. Hopefully this should clear up on how to put the cheats in using brute force save data for Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X2 HD Remastered. Now, if there's anything I could do for you guys, as always, hit me up on my channel. Um, send me a private message. Um, as always, peace. Leave me a comment. If, you, if this video was helpful, leave a like. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. And peace.